Hey guys, it's Marin. Welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. I've already filmed a lot of videos because I am filming astrology basics videos for a lot of content and courses that I'm making, which is so exciting. So I feel like I've been talking to someone for like three hours now. I guess it's socializing when you live alone. <laughs> but I'm just going to take you through a full day of eating today. So it's about 1 p.m. now, so I've already had everything I've eaten in the morning. When I got up, I had a banana before I went to work out. That's generally been my pre-workout fuel so that I have a bit of energy. I'm no longer waiting until I'm hungry to break my fast because I'm looking to keep my energy up, keep my blood sugar up so that I'm building muscle during this time period. So I had a banana before I went to work out. Then when I got back, I made these chocolate protein waffles, which are so good. And like I say always, you do not need protein powders. That's not the answer to building muscle. That's not the answer to solving how to get your protein on a vegan diet. Like, eat a bunch of whole foods that you know have protein. Like, you're good. But I do like this protein by Thrive Market. It just tastes really good. Um, so I've been having it in these waffles lately, which are so good. Recipe starts with a cup of oats that I grind into oat flour because I am out of store-bought oat flour and I should just make it myself. Like it's so much easier. I then blend that up with a scoop of this Thrive Market chocolate protein, which if you look at the ingredients, I like it because it doesn't have added sugar. It doesn't have unnecessary fillers. Like it's literally just the protein blend. Uh, monk fruit sweetener, really simple good protein, which is why I like it. It's not going to fuck with your digestion if you're sensitive to protein powders. The other things I added in were spices. So I like to add cinnamon, cardamom, and nutmeg to like everything. It's just a really good trio. I usually add flaxseed to this, uh, a tablespoon of flaxseed with two tablespoons of water to make a binder. I don't call it a flax egg because we don't need to even phrase using menstruations in our cooking. It's just a flax gel binder. And then I added about a cup of almond milk to that, stir that all together, and added just a little bit of maple syrup for just a tiny bit of more sweetness. I don't like my waffles or pancakes too sweet themselves. I like to add maple syrup on top, but just a little bit in there. Then I like to refrigerate my batter for like 20, maybe 30 minutes. It just gives it a better texture. It makes it thicker and hold up in the waffle iron a bit better. I do this to my pancakes and my cookies too. It just tends to help all batter. So I stuck that in the fridge while I went to shower. Then I came back, I turned my iron on, poured it over, and then when it was ready and crispy, I took it out, put it on a plate, topped it with some fresh strawberries, which were so good and fresh. I've been getting really good berries lately. My spirit guides were like, get the strawberries and not the blueberries, which I was kind of like, I want blueberries, but then I woke up today like wanting strawberries and they were so good and perfect. So listen to your intuition and your spirit guides, guys. When they tell you to buy strawberries, buy the damn strawberries. Added this chocolate peanut butter from Legendary Foods, which is so good. All their nut butters. I talk about them all the time because they're insanely good. Sprinkled on some hemp seeds. Been really into hemp seeds. Great source of plant-based nutrients. They are like literally probably the most nutrient-dense food uh, ever. It's so good. I also topped it with a sprinkle of granulated monk fruit. I usually use this like as a sugar substitute in baking, but when I was little, I used to eat berries, like pounds of berries with pounds of sugar on them, white sugar. Like somehow my family didn't bat an eye at this, that it was unhealthy, but I love the texture of like berries with a little bit of that granulated sugar on there. They're already sweet enough, but I added a little pinch of the monk fruit sweetener. I did that and then I forgot to film it, but I did drizzle maple syrup over this as well. Then I ate those and they were amazing. Today for lunch, I'm going to be making kind of like a vegan taco salad. It's, it's like a pathetic version of just kind of like what I have and what I'm using up with this last week I'm in town before I travel for a few weeks. But I cooked up a lot of black beans, which made a lot more than I thought there would be as usual. And so I'm gonna be using those in a salad. I'm not hungry yet because I ate breakfast around 11 and it's like 1.15 now. I've been kind of spacing out my meals more towards the end of the day just because since I'm having that banana earlier in the morning, it's like I'm not hungry for breakfast a little later, lunch a little later. So I've been eating lunch around like 2.30, which is fine, it works with my schedule. So going to work on some fun projects, take a little bit of time, and then I will see you at lunch. So this all together is lunch here. I have a bed of romaine and then topped it with 
black beans that I soaked and cooked today. Really important to soak your beans beforehand. I don't really have a problem with bean digestion, but overall it's better if you do soak your beans and I cooked those this morning. Then I just steamed some frozen sweet corn. This is the corn that I buy from Whole Foods, just fire roasted corn, and I steamed up a big handful of that. And then here I just have root vegetable hash browns. I usually have sweet potatoes, but I'm out. So I use these frozen hash browns of potatoes, carrots, and sweet potatoes, which I mostly burned and didn't really get to use that much of it. But um, then I topped it with this creamy hemp dill dressing that I just came up with a recipe for yesterday. If you want the recipe for that, I will leave it below. Then topped it with salsa that I got from Thrive Market, some smoky chipotle salsa, touch of herb seasoning, black pepper, and some fresh basil that I grow here on my windowsill. So definitely not my usual lunch. I'm mixing it up a bit, but trying it out. And I'm also trying to eat salads normally with the toppings on top, even though I'm pretty sure I'll basically flip this inside out and have all the greens first right when I eat that. So yeah, this is lunch. So I'm back. I had to run some errands. I had to go by Wells Fargo because in typical Mercury retrograde fashion, Wells Fargo thought that my like normal charges were suspicious, canceled my debit card. I had to go and sort that out and get a new card a week before I'm leaving the country to go to Bali and like need a stable card. So <laughs> that was a bit surprising and like weird to have to do today. Since I was already out and about in the area, I stopped by a meditation center that leads like group drop-in meditation classes and I took a breath-based 30-minute meditation class. I get free classes there because the yoga studio that I'm at has a bunch of like brand partnerships that I get to like stop into places when they have spots open. Like I can drop into Soul Cycle, I can drop into these cool classes. So I tried to take advantage of that and so I don't have to pay for the meditation like membership to go. So I've been out for a little while and it's, it's almost seven. I soaked some rice during the day that I knew I was going to have to cook later tonight because soaking rice, just like soaking beans or grains, just helps it, one, digest better and cook faster, which is like convenient. So I'll probably cook that. I'm not too hungry, but that takes around 30 to 45 minutes to cook. So it'll be like eight before that would be ready. Nothing, nothing really different. Tonight I'm going to make a tempeh veggie coconut curry, kind of per usual. I usually actually have tofu at night. And I only have one block of tofu left that I want to use up before I leave town. So I'm trying to use up my other things so I can like save the tofu that I want a little bit later. But yeah, I'll, I'll get started cooking, I guess. So making dinner now, I just cooked my rice and I put a little, about a cupful right here. The rest of my rice is just going to go in the fridge for later this week. I am now going to cook my veggies. If you've seen my other videos, you know I basically just cook my onions with garlic and spices first in a little water. Then I add the rest of the veggies to steam those up in as well, basically just like a steam water saute type of thing. And today I'll be air frying Brussels sprouts and plantains because plantains go so well with tempeh. So this is what I am have laid out right now. I cut up the onions, carrots, and bell pepper. Those go in first. First the onions, garlic, spices, and then add these two because they take longer. And then I'm about to air fry the Brussels sprouts and plantain. This is the worst mic setup ever. I need a new camera. I need a new camera really badly so that the mic can stay. Oh my God. So now just putting the veggies. I'm also going to steam tempeh like above this on a little steamer basket. I'm eating like the leftover rice in here. I'm going to steam the tempeh over this and then once the tempeh is steamed, I'm going to air fry the tempeh and then add it back into the curry because air fried temp first steamed then air fry tempeh is the best way to make it. it tastes so good. Um, but first, I'm going to cook up these onions and some spices. Probably gonna do curry powder and some pepper and ginger, uh, just the usual like Indian spices. Um, and it's pretty boring, so.
my god. I'm literally about to cry. Oh my god. Why is this? Oh my god. I can't film and cook at the same time. Jesus Christ. Okay, so that was a really, really sad moment. I just picked up, <laughs> I just picked up this food all over the floor. I don't even care. I don't have time to redo this. Have the black rice here. Then in the curry, there's onions. I forgot garlic today, which I have not done in months. I can't believe I forgot garlic. Carrots, bell peppers, broccoli, which I add in near the end because I like it a bit less cooked even though for this i let it cook so long that it just it, it, it's it's mush with everything else honestly and then added the air fried plantains and brussels sprouts and the steamed and air fried tempeh then poured in some coconut milk oh i also added fire roasted tomatoes to this in the beginning which they add really good flavor stewed it all in some coconut milk and tossed over some arugula to wilt now just adding this siete foods cashew queso which is really good. I like all their flavors pretty equally. It's this cashew based queso. Also adding flax seeds, nutritional yeast, of course. Finally, just a bit of shredded nori. I'll just eat the rest of this seaweed off to the side, but I love sprinkling a bit of nori onto my curries. It's so good for you and such a great source of iodine and I love the taste of seaweed. I don't know if I'm weird. It's quite tasty. Also adding just a pinch of this Primal Palette New Bay seasoning. It's um, just like a general all-purpose seasoning that goes really well with lots of things. And lastly, sprinkle of black pepper. I do have a lot of fresh basil growing, but the leaves are like all halfway grown. So I know in a few days I'll have a fuck ton of basil. And right now I don't want to use any of it up. And we're good to go. All for me. It awaits. The last thing I'm having today is a slice of this pumpkin chocolate chip banana bread that I made. I've been kind of playing with switching up my pumpkin chocolate chip cookie recipe into other things because it works so well and tastes so great there and I'm trying to, you know, mix it up. So I'm going to have a slice of this. There's a lot left here since it's just me <laughs> and I eat all my recipes, but this is um, just one slice. I cut it up into six. And I'm going to top it with this homemade nut butter. I made nut butter by combining roasted almonds, cashews, and lots of macadamia nuts, and it is so good. It's dark because the nuts were roasted. There's no chocolate or anything in this. It's just nuts, like no salt or oil or anything added, and it's insane, so good. That is beautiful, even though my cutting board is disgusting. The mic is falling. So that's everything I had today. I hope this was helpful. I hope it was entertaining. I hope it filled all your expectations for what a what night eat in a day should, should be. Like, subscribe, do all the things, watch my astrology videos, get a reading from me, give me your money. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.